This topic is electrical metallic tubing or thin wall conduit. This item right here. It's a thin steel tube that you cut with a hacksaw. You never ever cut it with a tubing cutter because it'll leave a deep ridge which will skin the insulation off of wires as you pull them through. When you cut it with a hacksaw, the easiest thing to do when you're done to deburr it is to just take a pliers, run it around the outside, run it around the inside, and voila, you're done. But you can see as you look through here, you can see the ridge from where I use the tubing cutter for display purposes. Electrical metallic tubing is too thin to be able to thread the ends. So you use connectors and couplings to attach it to boxes and fittings. This happens to be a set screw connector. Set screw connectors are made in die cast metal like this or in steel like this. Steel used to be a premium price. It is now less expensive and is substantially stronger. Besides set screw couplings, we also have what are known as compression connectors. These were typically used outdoors and they come apart and there is a little ferrule that is compressed against the conduit as you tighten it down to help prevent the infiltration of water. A few years back, Underwriters Laboratory decided that that was no longer adequate to prevent the infiltration of water and change their requirements. Some examples would be this particular one here, if you look inside, has an O-ring. The downside of this is that you can only put it on conduit once. If you try to pull the conduit out, the O-ring goes flying and is rendered useless. This is that same brand as a compression fitting. This is the watertight fitting. When you look at the outside, they look similar, except that this one here has a, an indentation to accept the O-ring. This brand here achieves its watertight approval by having a metal compression ring that is solid all the way around as opposed to the others that are split. Here's another brand. It achieves its watertight rating. It has the typical split compression ring but has a plastic grommet that compresses against the conduit. I typically run a bead of caulk around the conduit when I'm outside to make sure that the water does not infiltrate the box or meter socket or whatever it is I'm using. Thin wall conduit, electrical metallic tubing, must be supported within three feet of any box or conduit fitting, and a conduit fitting might be a device like this or a set screw version like this or a flat version like this or a larger version, an LB, like this. So within three feet of any box or one of those conduit fittings or couplings that were shown, you must secure it to the building structure. This happens to be a one hole strap. If I was too lazy to bend the offset to get it back against the wall, I could have used a conduit hanger like this which holds the conduit out a half inch from the wall and the pipe would have gone straight between the boxes. A two hole strap can be used, not this size of course for this pipe, but if there is a lot of stress and strain on the pipe, it's held from both sides. 
or a nail strap like this could be used if I was securing it to a wooden finish or floor joist or something else that was wooden. Another fitting that can be used would be what is known as a back a back to back connector. So if I wanted to put another box right above this one, I could put this through that knockout, tighten that down, put that through here, and then the box is only about a quarter of an inch apart. Instead of bending the box offset like I did with a box offset bender, I could have used one of these offset connectors. They're very expensive and they're very difficult to pull wires through at both ends because of the sudden offset that goes in less than an inch. It's really easy to skin insulation in that if you use these. Here's another connector that you don't typically find at a hardware store. This is called a two-piece connector. And the way this works is when you're fixed between two boxes, this, the far end would go in the typical other box. This would go on here. You could push this into the box, into the other connector, and then tighten this in, and you can secure this between two boxes. There will be more information forthcoming at sparkyjohn.com. S P A R K Y J O H N.com. This is copyrighted material.